Welcome to this ABC 36 News Update. I'm Tom Kenny. A Lexington murder victim was laid to rest on Wednesday. Amanda Ross shot to death last Friday outside of her home. Her funeral was Wednesday here at the Carrick House in Lexington. And among those in attendance, Governor Steve Bashir, who called her death an indescribable tragedy. Now, Steve Young, her nun rather, her ex fiance is accused in her death. He's a former state lawmaker, gubernatorial candidate, and son of a former governor. And a newspaper in western Kentucky reports there's reason to think that Steve Nunn was planning his own death. The Glasgow Times says Nunn asked to have his gravestone engraved with his name, birth date, and date of death. And the date he wanted for his death was September 11, 2009, the same day Amanda Ross was killed, and the same day that Nunn was found on his parents' gravesite in Hart County with slit wrists. The monument business owner says he called a friend of Nunn's to warn him, and the newspaper reports that friend was unable to reach Steve Nunn after the bizarre request on the gravestone. The University of Kentucky is looking to go green, and Wednesday night, Memorial Coliseum played host to special guest Robert F. Kennedy Jr. He gave a lecture about our environmental destiny, and in his speech, he gave UK and this community tips on how to reduce our carbon footprint. And I've always believed this as 25 years as an environmental advocate, that we don't protect the environment for the sake of the fishes and the birds. We're protecting it because we recognize for our own sakes, because we recognize that nature is the infrastructure of our communities. Kennedy's traveling all across the country, raising awareness about social movement that's geared towards saving the planet. 1908. Teddy Roosevelt was president, the airplane was just five years old, and Gifford Blyton was born. 101 years later, friends and family gathered here at Fat Boy's Barbecue in Georgetown to celebrate his birthday Wednesday night. He's a former UK debate coach, and listen to this, one of his pupils, then UK student, Joe B. Hall. I don't know how to do it, me, Joe. We just met through basketball. Yeah, through the student. He was, uh, I was a student, and uh, we all loved Dr. Blyton, and uh, he was a teacher that the players enjoyed being in his class. Not all of them, but quite a few of them <laughs> took his courses, and uh, he was one of those teachers that you always remember. It was nice of Joe B. to go to the party Wednesday night. Dr. Blyton had another famous student, Governor Steve Bashir. He was his debate coach. In fact, they had the party last year at the governor's mansion. That is our report. Get more at WTVQ.com.